You know, with all this NPC stuff going around, it's good sometimes to check in with the main character. Me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. These people who think they're the main character. And uh, we're gonna do this as a try not to laugh. So let's strap in the main character. This is from the subreddit. I'm the main character. So let's let's see. Uh, yeah, it's, it's time to watch some fucking vanity. Look at this MF. His whole channel is like this. His whole channel? What hole? Oh, uh, which hole are you referring to? His bunghole? <laughs> What's gonna come of this? What the fuck workout could you possibly be about to do? And what are the pants? Like, not only is he taking all the weights in the gym for whatever dumbass shit he's about to do, he's also parading his fucking package around the gym. No one wants to see your dick print, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're just not big enough <laughs> for this, for anything close to this. What's with the five weight belts you got and the the gym bag with the, what do you got, smelling salts in there? Dude, you're like 200 pounds. And I'm not, si I'm not trying to body shame or size shame anyone here. It's just if you're going to be fucking obnoxious like this, you should at least be obnoxious looking. At least be fucking gigantic. You know, be clearly on steroids so that people are like, okay, this guy is clearly in another league. He knows something I don't. Go ahead. Do what you gotta do. This dude looks normal. <laughs> I love this. Why is he standing on two little fucking weights? <laughs> Not only did he steal all the 45s, but he also stole an extra two tens for foot platforms? What the fuck? I'm surprised he didn't steal like the fives and set up like a little like decoration, you know, just to, like for aesthetics, you know, make a cute little pattern on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lose. I'm gonna take the L already. I've never even been close to winning one of these stupid videos anyways. This is my favorite fucking video I've ever seen. What workout is this? Lift the bar an inch off the... What is this? Where could you possibly have gotten this from? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> the amount of preparation it took for him to do this exercise where he lifts it at, at literally three millimeters off the safety is insane. Nice, nice. Good rep, good rep, good rep, good rep. <laughs> what would you even call this? Police? <laughs> Bar lifties? Yo, what's your max bar lift? What? Your max bar lift. When you lift it this high off the thing, what's your max weight? I can go like fucking 2,000 pounds with that shit. With my bar lifties. Holy fuck, this is so embarrassing. I disagree. I think it's awesome. If you're gonna be the main character, you might as well just do weird shit like that. Have zero self-awareness. All right, let's move on to the next one. I've laughed heartily one time. But not anymore. Too many NPCs gotta start messing with them. How did you find this video of young Benedict Cumberbatch? That's what I wanna know. You got him, dude. You got him. You fucking showed that NPC what's 
good. That face, man. Damn, that's some main character shit right there, dude. Hell yeah, you 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 are unique. You are a unique man. I'm floored by the uniqueness of you. Fuck, you probably kill it at the doctor, man. They probably love you at the doctor's office. Let me see those fucking tonsils. Whip those things out. Sure, doctor NPC. <laughs> Main character is surprised the world doesn't revolve around them. People are just walking in front of it like we're not recording. It happens. People were people. None of it's intentional. Never attribute to malice what can be attributed to incompetence. It's far more likely that they're all in their own worlds, doing their own thing. They're not paying attention to the world around them. And we all do it every day, whether you're driving, walking down the street. All of our lives are just as complex as everybody else's. Everything you have going on, they have going on. Nobody knows what everybody else is going through. We also need to be a little more self-aware and aware of the world around us. Yeah, fuck yeah. That was deep. You gotta look deep to find the deep things. If all you ever do in your life is stay at the surface, you'll never find anything worth exploring. Are you real? I try to be. That guy is the main character. People are just walking in front of it like we're not recording. At a fucking mall? The mall is made for walking! That felt old. I am just turning into a dad. It's not only because Kelsey's pregnant. She is, by the way. But it's just because I I find myself saying shit like that more and more often. Just and this, the mall is made for walking, not filming. Anyways, this guy is the main character right here. I would I would play a game with that guy as the main character. That guy is level-headed. That guy is a definition of aware. I like that he's just like like just spitting just truth. The dude filming is like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> uh, this guy is weird. So just fucking listen to what he said. He's right. Um, oh. Um, <laughs> you are weird, my friend. I'm sorry, who's the one filming a TikTok in a mall? Who's the one doing that? No, that's that's normal behavior for an adult man. Interviewing people in a mall? Definitely. This is easy. I haven't laughed one time. Well, besides the first one. But that was... God, the best video ever. <laughs> Oh my god, he ate shit. Oh, he nails his head. Just water. It's not just water. <sighs> Man, I don't even what was like the planning like for this video? What an eclectic group of lads. The only thing good in that in whatever that production was was that dude falling down and hitting his face and not because he got hurt because it's the only like thing with it even a even like a slight shred of sincerity and genuineness it's like oh fucking yeah okay there's a human in this cool cool okay the rest of it is just like just sad late stage internet thing what it's just water it's not just water oh my god go home <laughs> this is the most embarrassing part. For sure, that's the most embarrassing part. I would be way more embarrassed to be this guy than the fucking guy who hit his face. <laughs> and final push. <laughs> nice! Now that's gonna pop off amongst the folks that like water, whatever the fuck this meme is. Final push and... Mm, nice! Okay, wow. Jesus fuck. What an emotional week. R.I.P. Nan. It was a pleasure. You was the root to our family tree. Good night. God bless. Live your life how you want to. Dot dot. Like aside from how absurd it is to post yourself for someone's death. I feel like we've seen this before though. This is like, this isn't anything new. People have been doing this for a while. But the lighting or something this in this makes his tattoos look like he's just covered in his own shit. Maybe he's like taking this really hard. <laughs> also, the, what are you bathing in? Kool-Aid? What's happening? Okay, I gave that one a little giggle because it, it is kind of funny. Also, definitely his, his grandma is looking down from heaven being like, Get the, what the fuck are you doing? Get up. Get up, stinker. Oh, show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Damn.
damn the intensity. You gotta respect it. Show me which one of you is gonna be a gentleman. Show a gentleman. Show me. Are there no gentlemen left in this? Are there no ladies left in this world? Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta respect the fucking power in the voice. That's coming from the diaphragm. Not even up here. It's just gentlemen. That's been building for weeks. That's what that is. Show me. Show me! Boom! That hits! I'd fucking get up for her, for sure. I'd be like, sit your ass down, lady. You deserve it. You should sing in a fucking screamo band. Which one of you is gonna be a gentleman? A gentleman! A gentleman! Show me! Show me! Oh, no. Oh, man. Maybe this is a try not to cringe, because these are all, like, pretty tough to watch. Spoiled brat cannot comprehend that people drive Uber for a living. I hate these ones. I had to give the driver a one-star rating. Excuse me, do you mind driving a little slower? This video's, like, kind of shaky. Ma'am, can you turn the light off? Are you serious right now? Can I turn the light off? It's reflecting from my window. Can you, like, turn the music down? And also, can you stop talking? Ma'am, can you turn the light off? It's at night, and there are no lights, and it's reflecting on my window. I understand that is a concern, but I am. Sorry, the highway. I, I am taking my video, so I like. Don't... Oh, oh! Come on, this has to be a. F this has to be fake. Please tell me that this is fake. I have time to argue, Miss. Ma'am, can you please turn it off? Like, what do you do exactly? I'm a Uber driver. I mean, like, what do you do? Like, what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's your job. This is my first time job. No, like, I know you do Uber, but, like, what? <sighs> Fucking with your video? How dare she? Hey, man. I'm on her side, all right? Sometimes when you're in an Uber, that's the only time you have to yourself to film videos for the internet. That's an important part of life now. And sometimes when you're in an Uber, that's the only time you have to do that. While there's someone fucking yapping in the background. It's like... We all know this is, this is your hobby. You don't actually do this as a job. Who would do this as a job? This is a job. What I'm doing, filming myself. Like professionally, what is your job? I have been an Uber driver for the past 16 years now. You know the best part is too, she's like, can you turn off the light so that I can drive you more safely? <laughs> so that you can keep making stupid videos of yourself and so that you don't die? Turn off the, like, and she thinks that the Uber driver is like being like being annoying by asking to turn the light off. It's for her fucking safety. This can't be real, right? Am I getting trolled right now? Okay, I got that you're an Uber driver, but if you're not comfortable sharing, that's fine. But it's just kind of weird how you like talk about like, you know, you don't support like my content creation. I just thought that was kind of weird. I have had so many influencers. I always have this issue with them. Can you please stand it off? I'm sorry, but like... Just stand it off, ma'am. I don't have time to explain this. Is this is this fake? The video is still up. I don't understand. Rich YouTuber thinks he can do whatever he wants to people because he has a bodyguard. Who is this? <laughs> Too many NPCs out here, bro. Gotta start messing with them. What? Well, probably what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking that guy owns holy shit dude i love that guy fucking loser no he's not i'm sorry so this is why i can't vibe with reddit comments anymore it's like <laughs> clearly like clearly they're out of touch that guy is not a loser that guy's cool <laughs> like that's fucking sick this woman is just Look at a fucking pathetic NPC ass just walking with groceries, probably back to her family. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. She deserves to be messed with a little bit. Yo, okay. <laughs> Enjoy your family, NPC. <laughs> so cool. And then when you get confronted to have a bodyguard step in for you, that's just smart. That's working smarter, not harder. Fucking NPCs. This is you. Oh, oh. This is you right here. I cannot get through. That's you. <laughs> Fucking NPC loser. This is me. Messing with you. She wonders why she's single. Oh, I've seen this. I love this one. And your name? Single and available. Single and available? Single and available? That's me. 
That's me. I'm single and available. I'm single and available if anybody wants to know. You can stop me if you want. Man, she was really hammering this home. Oh, thank you. I was I was trying to Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go now. Okay, I'm single and available though. Phones were a bad invention. They just, they were. This whole thing is a failed experiment. The internet and content, it is. Sorry to say. I know it's a little hypo hypocritical of me to say, but. <laughs> These have to be fake. Like, there's just no fucking way. This is worse than people flexing in weights area. Tell me to put my shirt back on because others feel insecure. Because you're so jacked. I tell her, sure, but it's not my fault I'm jacked, so. Never feel bad for how others feel because you worked hard to have what you they want. Sometimes it's a fucking rule at gyms. You have to have clothes on, dude. Come on, is this fake too? I feel like all this shit is fake and I'm just getting punked. Oh, I laughed, but man, you can almost see this dude's pubes. He is riding his shorts as low as humanly possible. That is, that is riding the pube line. Your dick's gonna flop out of there, dude. You run too hard, your dick's gonna flop out of the top. And then people are gonna come out, be coming up to you. Dude, put your dick away, man. Um, okay. <laughs> Psych. Guys, n please never let anyone tell you you should be self-conscious about your penis or your dick. Or your shaft being exposed to the outside because... You worked hard for that shaft. It needs air. All right, pube boy. Enjoy your run, enjoy your run puby. Pube ups. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, I laughed. Damn, that was a good one. Pube up? What's a pube up? That feels like that's what the workout in the beginning was. That's a pube up. Yeah, I just got to rep out a few pube ups. And so is this. Whatever this guy's doing on the treadmill, this is a this is a pube exercise. He's working his pubes. Oh yeah, naked gym man part two. This is this guy fucking for real? The woman has to choose you first because whenever a woman chooses you first, she is telling you subconsciously that she perceives you in the moment right now to be her best option. And whenever you chase- Wait, I love that he used that clip during dating advice and played it off like she was hitting on him when she was doing the exact opposite and he told on himself. The woman, are you trying to convince her to like you? That's when and probably the woman doesn't see you as her best option otherwise she would have already made that connection for you fuck yeah dude what advice do you have for making your pube line low enough so that you can wear your shorts down past your ball sack when you're on the treadmill because i want to show my dick and balls but i feel a little self-conscious about my pubes because they're thinning i'm balding my pubes are i'm losing my pubes and it, it's uh it's making me self-conscious because everyone knows real men alpha men have thick thick bushels of pubic hair and so it makes me self-conscious so what advice do you have should i start taking hymns or something if you don't like me talking in the movie theater go home go to a movie and it made me think like people say oh if you want to talk during a movie you shouldn't go to the cinema uh <laughs> lies if you don't want to hear people talking during a movie you shouldn't go to the cinema because like isn't the whole thing about watching something with other people in the same room to like experience it together and laugh and scream and have full on analysis about the characters like while you're watching it? If you want to sit in silence like a fucking stone, just go home. Like, and yeah, sorry, I'm that person. I am that person. Take me to fucking jail. I'm gonna be disrespectful every time because I will. I will. I do enjoy when people make character analyses out loud. Because I always wonder, like, what is the analyses on this character? I wonder what other people are thinking. And so it is nice to hear it out loud. It's nice when everyone's, everyone at the same time is talking about their character analyses. I love it. Say things. I will say things during the movie. I will, I will say a lot of things during the movie. Yup, 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 that's me. And, and that's just what it should be like. I feel like we should change the culture around going and see a movie. It should always be chitty chatty in the cinema. 
that's just my opinion. That's a bad opinion. I'm sorry, but it is. If this was rage bait, it worked. I hate this person already. Rage bait is, is a good term. I feel like most of this was rage bait. And I still am confused about the Uber one. Was that rage bait? Was that some fucking character? Sometimes content is so meta now, it's like... Fucking, there I go. Sounded like a dad again. God damn it. She's definitely being serious though. Listen, I think I would, un I understand why someone would want this. If you're like a very type A or whatever, like very extroverted person. But this is just genuinely just a bad take. That's all it is. It's just a bad take. All right, that's it. Um, Safe to say I lost because I laughed so hard. I mean, we started off on a hot note. That first one was so good. That's honestly one of my favorite videos of all time. I wonder if he's got anything else that we can watch to kind of put a little button on this video. Ooh, button. I mean, that, that was kind of funny. Is this guy self-aware? Dude, I, this is Try Not To Laugh Impossible Edition watching this guy. What the fuck? Are you trying to throw out your back? It's fucking awesome. Dude, the fucking weight belt was so tight. I love it. Oh my god. All right, bye.